Okay, it's time for the Q&A. Uh, let's get some questions up there. Uh, I got Pete here in Discord, so let's uh, give a hand to Pete. Uh, get some questions going. Uh, Pete, uh, uh, do you got your webcam on there? Yeah, I'm getting a, a repeat of your voice about three, four seconds. Are you watching the stream uh, live in the background? Yes, I should not. Uh, correct. Go ahead and mute that. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Okay, now that we got that, uh, looks like we got a question. Uh, what measurements or experiments were done to evaluate the RF hash of the boost converter? Uh, it wasn't very sophisticated when I when I first got it, which is no longer, by the way, no longer obtainable at that amperage. Uh, it's a shame the uh, the ham who built that died. But anyway, um, uh, I just had it connected to a uh, uh, battery in my basement, and uh, I did a I did a before and after. Right, so I had a um, I had the running the radio running with it and without it before I before I started mounting it. And uh, that's a great question because uh, it brings up a larger point that um, most regulators, power supplies, anything that has to do with changing voltage, they're almost all a terrible, uh, terrible problem with RF hash. So you, you have to assume that components like that are bad until proven good. So great question, a great thing to watch out for whenever you're doing anything with power supplies or, or uh, um, changing voltages. Very nice. Uh, we got another question from Twitch here. Uh, let's see. Armor D. Crab says, thanks so much for sharing. Uh, curious if you worry about security of the van, what was the microwave rack for? Uh, sounds like check, two check, different check. questions. So uh, the security of the van, I assume you mean physical security. Uh, I am a little I am a little worried about it. I should have... Uh, I should have better protection for it. Now, when it's stored long term, it's in a uh, garage that's with cars that are much, much more expensive than this van is uh, for car collectors. So it got good security when when it's stored. But uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little I am a little worried about it when it's uh, uh, when it's parked, say, at a at a hotel or even at home. So I don't have a good answer for that. And I should have a better answer. The microwave racket that was. Um, that was just by chance that a, a guy in our club was uh, retired from roving himself and sold me his entire collection of microwave bands. So I wanted to get into microwaves at some point, and uh, I just took that opportunity, which happens a lot in uh, in radio, is uh, uh, you have equipment available now that you think you might use in the future, and it's at a great price. And, hey, get it now. You might save you know hundreds, or in this case, thousands of dollars in the future. I mean, that rack that I showed with the microwave capabilities, if I got new equipment there, you're looking at at least $15,000. And I didn't pay anything like that. I didn't pay five figures for uh, for that equipment. So uh, it's not on the air yet, but it's, it's there and ready to go when I get the lower bands ready. Very good. We got another question from Dead Pixel in Discord. How do you deal with your van's total payload weight? Yeah, it must be heavy. Uh, are you are you over with all that equipment? No, that's a the total payload rate is a, it's a there's a lot of there's a lot of special things about this uh, uh, about this van. It's a package that goes with things like TV vans. Uh, they also have a lot in common with ambulances. Ambulances have a lot of a. Uh, of uh, heavy equipment with AC requirements. So uh, I don't know what the number is. Uh, I, I think it's well over 9,000 pounds. Um, and I assume that even with my heavy batteries that uh, I, the, the whole van weighed a lot less than it did when it was used as a TV van. Um, although I have to admit uh, that engineering wise, I didn't I didn't compare the weights or, or even measure how heavy it was. I made a guess when I registered the van. And uh, I made a guess at 6,000 pounds. I think it's below that, though. So good question, but uh, I don't have a really good satisfying answer. Yeah, it's definitely got to be a beefy van, right? So uh, we got another question in Discord. Uh, testing 2 asks, uh, weather seals and grommets and water intrusion. 
on an old van was the rubber all crumbling? How much of that did you need to refurbish to make the old ship seaworthy again? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't have to replace anything yet. Uh, there was some water yeah, infiltration yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, through the connection on the roof to the satellite antenna. R real early in the presentation, I showed uh, uh, my buddy lifting that uh, satellite antenna off. So that had some water infiltration on it, and I just I put a um, I think it's a four or three and a half inch um, cover on it, and it hadn't been a problem since then. As far as the like the um, seals for other cables or even the uh, the doors the only the only moderate problem was some of the uh, seals for the doors were coming off but they uh, they weren't dried out so didn't have a real problem there now once now i haven't done a lot of cables that run to the outside especially through the roof so um that is a that is a concern when i do start wiring it that's one thing i should say that uh, uh i'm not using a lot of i got a screwdriver antenna on the back for hf uh but I haven't done a lot of work with getting the VHF antennas out that obviously involve a lot more cables and ones that run through the roof instead of the uh, floor. So uh, I do have to watch out for that. Very good. Another question from Twitch here. Uh, Calvin Luck asks, uh, those are such densely packed racks. Are you able to get access to most of the connections without fully disassembling it? Yeah, luckily... Um, you know, I, I'm going to take a step back. Part of what I wanted to do was make a, a little video tour of the van, uh, but uh, I ran out of time with the, uh, the tropical storm that ran up the East Coast. At least that's my excuse. It's a good excuse. It's true. Uh, anyway, uh, it's, there's really good accessibility to the back of the of the rack. So the, the first three racks uh, that are together, uh, there's, a, uh, there's, a, there's a back door where you can get access to the AC panel that I displayed and the box for the generator. And there's like a storage area back there. So it's pretty good accessibility. Um, I think the only the only problem I has in the upper side of the, I guess it would be the driver side on rack number three, it's hard to get access to the screws to, uh, to put the rack equipment in that I mount from the rear. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty accessible. Now, obviously, if there's interior connections that I have to fix, the racks have to have to come out, or maybe maybe at least the racks on top have to come out. Pretty good accessibility on both uh, both the front and the back. That's good. Nothing like taking a full day to take stuff apart just because you forgot something. Oh yeah. Okay, we got another question in Discord from Bunzel. In addition to the the van you showed us, or the fan, uh, do you have anything else for airflow or cooling to prevent the hardware from overheating? No, and I, I do worry about that because it gets pretty darn hot in the in the van. Um, it gets less hot than it did in my minivan because there's less glass to let the to let sunlight through. Um, I do have one other fan that I put in the back, so I open the back door when it's particularly hot. I open the back door and I have a van that fan that's powered with 12 volts to get a little bit of airflow in. Um, but I'm kind of surprised at how hot it's been that none of the equipment has failed so far just because of heat. And uh, I, I don't know what to say. It's it's it, they, they work better than I would have expected, that I have any right to expect. Um, there are opportunities, physical opportunities in the back, I would suppose, to get uh, to get even more fans going. But uh, but so far it has been an issue, and it's been I've uh, activated on HF at least up to like a air temperature of uh, 95 degrees outside so so far so good that's a that's a great point though a great question and uh and um i don't know if you remember at the beginning of the of the presentation i i emphasized that i can't have the van engine on i can't have the ac system on because of uh rf hash so uh, uh while i'm operating i can't have any uh air conditioning on as much as i would like to oh wow that's a bummer yeah especially if you came to defcon with that thing um uh, it would definitely be a sweaty situation. Uh, <laughs> someone's asking, are you going to do a video tour of the van? I want to do this time, but uh, but but ran out of time. That would be nice. It would be especially nice, I think, when I get antennas on it, though, because uh, it's kind of limited to, to just the interior. There's not, there's not too much to see. It would be nice to see it in operation, I suppose. But I'd like to make a video when it's more exciting, when the uh, – 
when I can show the uh, pneumatic mass in operation and the rotator rotating. I hope I'll do that someday. Very good. Do we have any other questions on Twitch or Discord for Pete here? K-O-B-A-K on his ultimate van life, van conversion. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything yet. We'll give him just a few more seconds to throw a question out. Okay, it looks like that's it for the Q&A. Well, thanks, Pete, for the presentation. Uh, maybe we'll see some demos or some other content maybe next year at DEF CON. Oh, boy, that, that would be great. Uh, I, I hope we uh, I hope we get an opportunity to get together live. And thanks for being a great host and uh, holding my hand through this 62-year-old uh, getting used to uh, Discord and Twitch and all the other stuff at one time was kind of overwhelming and... Uh, and you guys did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see everybody uh, for the next presentation. Next up, we have K8AMH with the National Traffic System and Radiograms. So that will be coming up in about 20 minutes. So uh, we'll get going on that. And we'll see you guys shortly. Thanks, Pete. You're welcome.